Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nimza GP. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to repair or replace your PS4 hard drive if it's giving you any kind of error codes, making any funny noises, if it's just straight up acting up. In eight simple steps and with a possible free solution. Without further ado, let's get into it. You're listening to a young Alright guys and girls, today we're going to take a look at repairing your PS4 in a few simple steps, starting off at step 1. Alright, unplug your PS4. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that being step 1, but seriously though, unplug it. So step 1, take a look at the back of your PS4 and you'll find this little plastic strip. Remove that, but not too rough, or you might just break a clip. Alright, cool. Now on to step 2, which is removing the hard drive. Now that the cover's been removed, you should see a silver screw with the PlayStation shapes engraved into it. That is what holds your hard drive firmly into your PS4. We're gonna be removing that before removing the actual hard drive. Most star-shaped screwdrivers will work in this case. Now looking at the other end, this is where you'll actually find the hard drive. Don't panic if you see a dark blue foam hanging out. Nothing's broken and nothing's wrong. That's basically just the hand. It freaked me out when I seen it the first time too. It actually reminds me of those foams that we used in cameras back in the 90s. But anyway, I broke mine by mistake. <laughs> Alright, you can remove your hard drive by just pulling on the handle, but be gentle. Okay? Or if it's broke, <laughs> Just use a long nose player like me, man. Come on. Alright, on to step 3. This is identifying the hard drive and removing it from the casing. This is a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. And they're not that expensive. Um, but from my experience, at least here in South Africa, it is a bit hard to come by, as most places stock at 3.5. Alright, so to get it out of the casing, um, you're just going to use a standard star screwdriver to loosen the four screws. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> Alright, try to take care when removing the hard drive, as uh, you could possibly get it furbished. Okay? Every cloud has a silver lining as they say. Alright, on to step 4, the replacement hard drive, or if you're from South Africa, the DSTV Explorer. <laughs> this device is our version of cable TV, well at least I think so. It's essentially a set-top box connected to a satellite dish which allows your home to receive digital quality signals from more than 100 channels. Sounds great, right? The thing about this device is once you buy it, you're stuck with it for life as the subscription is linked to what we call a smart card which is linked to your ID number. Alright? And yeah man, that means once you cancel your subscription like we did about 3 years ago, good luck trying to get rid of this. But remember when I said every cloud, right? So behind this baby, you'll find this drawer, which is closed by this screw. It's a really funny screw and it has a metal pin in the center. I guess to prevent you from opening it. Yeah, ne? Mzanzi bra. Everything has a lock. But in any case, we are from Zanzi, <laughs> so we're gonna open it, alright? You'll need a small flat Phillips screwdriver to wedge into that screw. If you have a lot of dexterity, unlike me, you'd find it easy to open. Once the screw is open, just slide open the drawer, and voila, a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. 
on to actually removing the hard drive from the casing that came with the Explorer, you'd notice that on this casing, there are four screws. These aren't your ordinary screws. It's a T10 Phillips screwdriver. All right, this is the bit that you're gonna need. Once you have that T10 bit, it's gonna be real simple to actually loosen up. All right, guys, on to step five, which is installing the hard drive back into the PS4. So you're gonna take your hard drive, put it back into the bracket, and always make sure that the barcode faces where the ribbon is, all right? And then once that's done, you're able just to put in the screws again and tighten. Alright, next is to slide the hard drive right back into the PS4. Remember the ribbon and the barcode are going to be facing outwards. Don't push it in too hard as it could just jam, okay? Next you're going to take the little screw with all the PlayStation symbols on and tighten that back up so your hard drive can sit firmly back into your PS4. Last but not least, seal it with the cover. Alright guys, we're on to step 6 and this is going to require you guys to have a PC or a laptop, right? Because we're actually going to be downloading the software for your PS4 in this step. Essentially, the operating system, alright? So on your PC, you're going to open whatever browser you're comfortable with. In this case, I'm using Opera GX and go to the official playstation website playstation.com <laughs> all right once you're there you're going to click on support and you're going to select hardware and repairs then you're going to select ps4 and then you're going to select software update from here you're going to select reinstall system software and then you're going to select reinstall system software using safe mode right once you're on this page, we're going to be following these steps in order to install the software correctly. Alright? You will see an example on screen of how it will actually look when you are creating these folders on your flash drive in order to install onto your PS4 correctly. Alright, so first things first, after inserting your flash drive, you're going to head on over to my PC, right click on your flash drive and format it into FAT32. This is very important as this is the format that the PS4 is actually going to pick up. On your flash drive, you're going to create a folder named PS4. Inside that folder, you're going to create another folder named Update. All right. And inside that folder, you're going to create another folder named PS4 Update.pup. And inside this folder is where you're going to paste the download file from this website. Alright, just one more note before we move on to step 4 on this actual list. Just bear in mind that each and every folder name is in all capital letters. It's all uppercase. Alright guys? So on step 4, it tells us over here to start the PS4 in safe mode. So essentially, you're going to press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. On the second beep, you're going to release your finger. Once you enter safe mode, you're going to select option 7, which is initialize PS4. And in brackets over here, it says reinstall system software. Once you've selected that, you're going to select update from USB storage device and select OK. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now that the difficult part's out of the way, we can focus on downloading the correct file for your PS4. Alright, on step 2, you'll notice it says PS4 system software update page and that's the link you're gonna select. Once the next page loads up, scroll down until you see some download links. Alright, be careful if you don't read properly, you might just select the first link which is the incorrect option. Because we're installing a new hard drive, we want to select the second link which is PS4 reinstallation file. 
You might laugh now, but you'd be surprised how many people might get caught out by this. So once the file has been downloaded, copy it onto your FAT32 formatted flash drive in the folder ps4update.pup. Alright, we're on to step 7 guys, and that's installing the software we just downloaded onto the PS4. This step will start off by putting into safe mode, so you can press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps, letting go after the second beep. You will be met by this message, connect your DualShock controller via USB and press the PS button. On the next screen of options, we're going to scroll down to option 7, initialize PS4 and in brackets reinstall system software. At this point, you can connect the USB with the software file if you have not already. Bear in mind that the latest version of the software should always be what you are installing. Just hit OK and it should load for a minute or two. And this screen will then come up. The PS4 will be initialized. All users and data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? And the answer is yes man, we are sure because there is no users on this hard drive. It's brand new. Alright, so on to the next part, which I've actually sped up for your convenience, but in reality, it should take about five to 10 minutes. The PS4 will prepare for the system update and install the update file. Yo guys, and we're over here at the final step, which is step eight, and that's actually setting up your profile on your PS4 so you can get back to gaming, right? So essentially, when the screen over here prompts you to connect your PS4 controller, I just need you guys to know that not every aftermarket PS4 controller is gonna work with this, so heads up. Up next, you're just gonna select your language, your PS is just gonna let you know what to expect, like you're gonna set up your internet, connect your camera, so on and so forth. So the next step is actually setting up your internet connection. Go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi, or connect your LAN cable, whatever the case might be. Sweet, once you're hooked up to the internet, it's gonna prompt you to connect your camera. This is a step I'm gonna skip. Next up, it's gonna be your time zone. And once you select your time zone, you're gonna select the date and time as well. Cool, once you select the date and time, you're gonna select your power saving options, all right? So you can choose, wake your PS4 up remotely, or you can choose for it to charge your controllers while it's in sleep mode. After that, you're gonna accept the terms and conditions. It's gonna bring you to a dashboard you're going to select user 1 and that's going to bring you directly into your home page. Alright, so don't panic if you don't see anything familiar and everything looks clean. It's supposed to look like that. You're going to sort that out. You're going to head on over to settings and account management. And over here, you're going to log back into your PSN. Enter your username and password. I don't have to tell you what to do over here. You guys know already. It is going to prompt you uh, or give you an opportunity to actually transfer your data from an older PS4 onto this one. But because in this case my hard drive was completely damaged, I don't have that option. But if you do, then transfer it and head on over to your home page and scroll right down until the extreme right hand side of your home page until you find the library. Once you get to the library, you can open that up and you'll find each and every game or app that you've ever purchased on your PlayStation profile. If you guys found this video entertaining or educational, please smash that like button. If you guys need any assistance, drop a comment down below. And you know what guys, consider subscribing to the channel. And it's me, Nimza GP, and I'm out. Peace.